Hello, and welcome back to Race Gal. I'm Dan Sugano, aka FBB Skittles, and today we're going to be building track number nine, which was created by iGAO team pilot Callisto. So, as always, you're going to need your 20 PVC sections and your Race Gal connector set, and we have this custom section that we made on track number eight. I'll show you where I suggest using that to get the best use of your sections. So as always, let's start with the base build. And uh, all you need to do is save one five-way for the upper level. Other than that, you can use all the multi-ones on the bottom. So I suggest um, using this custom section as your spacer here, right off of a five-way start. All right, so now we've got the basic base build down. Let's put on our support. All right, so now that we have the base build down, let's build one level up. All right, now we're gonna to wanna to cap off this level. And the key piece right here is a five way. It goes right here like this. Now, we go up one more level. Top of the double stack. And then on the side closest to the start gate, the double stack has a hole. All right, so if you use the standard PVC sections, our custom section that we made last week was the same length as the standard section. So you're spacing between your start finish gate and the close side of your double stack is minimum 28 inches gate. And yeah, other than that, it's good to go. You got a pole on the far side of the start finish and on the top of the double stack closest to the start finish. And then all the other gates are on the ground. All right, so now that we have track number nine all built and spaced properly, let's go to the fly through so you know how to run this track. Here's the fly through for Race Gal track number nine, created by Callisto. So you're gonna start facing the start finish gate, kind of facing away from the rest of the track. And as always, your time starts as you pass through that gate. So you're gonna turn left and elevate, start this track, come through the top of the double stack, and then turn around back through the bottom, and kind of a corkscrew move through the far gate. Then you're gonna come, wanna come around the entire double stack, and around or over this gate, and go through it. And you're going to want to elevate while spinning counterclockwise around or over the top of the double stack and then back through it. And then clockwise spin back to the start gate. And that's a lap. So you start your uh, lap with a kind of double force screw move. And you come all the way around the double stack, around or over the gate through it. Elevate counterclockwise spin around and over the top of the double stack, back through it. Clockwise spin back to the start. Another lap. Let's pick it up a little bit. I think my hands are going to kind of fly on this drum, but we're kind of below. That's the basic motion you want to do there.
Good luck and happy whooping. Yeah, I'm fine. Finally feeling the pressure.